well, I can't give you any business if you're not asking for any business. And for so many agents, that's their big problem is they're not asking for the order. Welcome to today's morning meeting. I'm Greg Luther, the one guy that meets with you every single day to help you in growing your business. Today, I want to talk a little bit about why you should be making offers with everything you do. The biggest problem I see when I see content that's out there, videos, postcards, sales letters, even the newsletters that you send to all of your past clients, your sphere of influence, there's no freaking offer in there. How is anybody going to say yes if you don't ask a question? So uh, every email that you send, every newsletter that goes out, every text message that you send, there should be some sort of an offer. And frankly, you ought to end with a question so it would elicit a response. I was looking at somebody's newsletter the other day that's going out for the middle of the month here. And uh, great articles, great content, really nice photos, but no offer. Like, how would I give you money as a realtor? Do you assume that people are just going to call you if they have a buying or selling need? And even saying something that silly, like, call me if you have any real estate needs. That's not a real offer. A real offer is our just looking program, right? I know you're just looking right now. I know you're not in a big hurry and you probably won't move unless you happen to find the exact perfect home. So rather than an agent bothering you all the time, you can sign up for our just looking program where I can get you unlisted pre-market properties as often as I find them before they hit the open market. And you let me know if you ever see anything that you want, because I know right now you're just looking. You can sign up for that. It's free of charge, no obligation. If you'd like more information on it, just shoot me a quick text and I'll get, that's an offer, right? Secret list of unlisted homes, perfect home finder program, sell your home for $10,000 more than you thought it was worth. Any of these offers that you're using would elicit someone saying, yes, I'm interested or I'm mildly interested or the reason I'm calling you is because I was inquiring about this. You know what they're not inquiring about? Your lasagna recipe. You know what they're not inquiring about? Uh, hope you had a great day and you're enjoying this wonderful weather. By the way, if you have any real estate needs, let me know. That doesn't work. So what I want you to think about is every piece of content you put out, whatever media you're using, if this is a postcard or a sales letter, obviously have a strong call to action. Your CTA needs to be strong. We have a great offer and we have a great CTA. Here's the offer. Here's how you get it. Okay. One of the best copywriting approaches that we teach as elementary as it sounds. Most people fail this test. If I look at their marketing, here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. So any marketing you do, I don't care if you're doing a, a info sheet for an open house. What you'll want to do, here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. And for so many of them, they have the first two, but they don't ask for the order. They don't have number three. When I listen to video recordings, audio recordings from their cell phone where they did a uh, home tour of a for sale by owner. So they follow our approach with the, the foundational model inside inner circle coaching. They use those three questions to get in the door. They actually are going to meet with two or three or four FISBOs today. How crazy is that? Most realtors wouldn't even believe you can meet with two or three sellers in one day. We do it all the time because they're using that inner circle approach, but don't go into that home and use the first two and not the third. Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. What do you think? Are you interested? Do you guys have any questions? Let me guess. You want to think about it, right? Let me guess. You've got a friend that's a realtor, right? You forgot that next one there. Here's what I want you to do next. Here's what I got. Here's how to help you. Here's what I want you to do next. That's your call to action that comes after the order, right? The, the offer itself. Uh, that's how you take the order. You make the offer. You have the call to action to get a hard yes or a hard no. There's never a maybe. There's never a I want to think about it. There's never I want to shop around. Again, it's the law of attraction. Imagine you're dating someone. Uh, so what you, would you think of our um, conversation here? We've spent an hour and a half together. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I'm very interested. I, I think I'd like to date other people. Uh, that's a no. That's what that is. Like if somebody says, oh, you're great. You're the nicest person. That was great conversation. I want to date other people. That means no. 
or it means I'm not sold on you. It means I'm willing to still shop around. You're not the one that I'm going to be exclusive to. You're not the one I'm going to temporarily pursue wholeheartedly. Well, the same is true with listings, with buyers, with anything. Well, you can send me homes, but I'm not going to work with you as my exclusive agent. I want to keep my options open. That means your offer sucks. What are you doing? Running a search for them? The same search that they're running? So like if you send them a listing, they'll say, yeah, I saw that three hours ago. I saw it on my own search. Why is the realtor sending it to me three hours late? Do you have a way to send them something that they can't find on their own? If not, why would they date you? Why would they use you as their real estate agent, as their buyer's agent? Oh, I'll represent your best interest. I don't need anybody to represent my best interest. Oh, I'm a really good negotiator. You don't have one example of that, but you're not negotiating in this market either. And that's not, what are you going to do? Say, I know the other offers 20,000 more, but let me show you why you should take 20,000. Like, what do you mean by negotiation exactly? It, I think that might be an overused word. Negotiation means I get a better deal, better terms, better something, even though they had other options available that were premium to what we offered. That's what negotiation is. So a lot of those just kind of fall on deaf ears. Okay. So what I want you to think about is with all of the marketing that you're putting out there, do you have a good offer and a good call to action? You need a good offer and a good CTA. The text message you send out, go look through some of your recent text messages. As the pessimistic buyer or the pessimistic seller, look at it from their perspective. Where did you lose them? It's something you said. You can see it. You can see where it went cold. Where did you lose them? Look at some of your recent email follow-ups, email communications you were having with prospects. This is your, your, uh, your lesson for the day today. This is the task I want you to do, the homework to make your business better. Look at the last three email communications you've had with three different prospects. I want you to look at the thread. And I want you to see where they just weren't interested in talking to you anymore. They realize this is just a realtor trying to get a deal, just a realtor that wants to help me so they can get paid. I want you to look through and see where that is. Look at your last three text message conversations with three different people. Look at your last three email communications with three different people. Maybe look at your recent mailers that you've utilized, any marketing you have going out. I don't care if it's a billboard, if it's a magazine ad, if it's a sales letter that's going out, if it's a radio advertisement, whatever it is, look at it and say, do I have a strong offer that people are like, holy crap, how do you do that? And do I have a strong call to action that says, here's what I want you to do next. Here's what I want you to do if you're interested in this, right? Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. If you do those three, you're going to see you will do far, far better with all of your conversions of prospects. Why? Because we see value. Now, this is, let's again, let's switch this up. It's the law of attraction. So let's switch this up. I just gave you dating advice. I just gave you the, the best advice on how to attract someone. Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. Is this better than any other option you have? If not, you're just a commodity. There's tons of those people out there. They could walk into a restaurant. Somebody will grab their arm. Oh my gosh, I thought you were cute. I just want to see if I get your number, right? Well, it's the same way here. Do you think there's a shortage of realtors in your area? Do you think there's a shortage of people who don't know a realtor? What percentage of people don't know some real estate agent, either family member, co-worker, someone they used to work with, high school buddy, somebody that's on their Facebook that's hitting them up all the time? What percentage of people in your area don't have a connection to a realtor? It's pretty daggone close to zero. Uh, if you're in the dating world, what percentage of them don't meet someone that's your sex? If they like men and, and you're a man, uh, do you know anybody that doesn't know any men? that can't find any other men? Is that your, your goal is to, well, they already know a realtor, so I can't go there. Well, what if I said, well, they already know a man? It's not going to help you. Be a better option. If you are a better option, you have lots of options, right? A pretty girl doesn't have an, a problem finding men. A pretty man doesn't have a problem, pretty or rich or uh, whatever the case is, doesn't have a problem meeting someone because there's something about them that's attractive. It might be their charisma. It might be the way they dress. It could be the car they drive. It could be the house they live in. It could be 
um, just a, a general conversation they're having. It could be that they have a kid or a pet that they're really taking care of, and that's attractive to someone. There's a million things that could be an attractive factor. But the last thing you want to do is say, oh, well, I use my dog to pick up women. So when I walk a dog, they want their dog to meet my dog and allows us to start talking. Well, then why don't you go out there and say, I want to meet someone that doesn't know other men that have dogs. It's crazy. The problem is your offer sucks. That's what the issue is. So if you're not attracting enough sellers or you're not attracting enough buyers, and I don't mean attracting them as far as getting the appointment or getting the contact, I mean, they actually follow through with you. If you're not attracting listings or buyer contracts where they've signed with you, the offer sucks or there's no call to action in there. Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. So what I'd like you to do is look at your last three. That's your homework for the day today. And then uh, you suck at follow-up anyway, right? We all do, everybody, myself included. Like, I just don't like following up with people. I don't even use those terms, but uh, I don't want to touch base with them again. So what I want you to do is today, contact two people and look at that contact before you hit send. I don't care if it's text or email or what it is, bat signal, however you're doing it. And I want you to say, once you're ready, um, okay, I think it's ready. I think it's good. I proofread it, proofread it one more time and see if it has. Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. Do you have all three? Don't hit send unless you have all three. Is this helpful for you today? I think it is. If you use it, use it today, you will see a difference in your business. So excited to have you on board here. Check the uh, video description down here. If you're not a member with us, there's tons of links for you. But most importantly, make sure you're following this page and you ring the bell, turn on notifications, share this with someone. You tell me this ain't good. Here's what I got. Here's how it'll help you. Here's what I want you to do next. Share it with another realtor. We're going to change the game. I'm Greg Luther. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye for now.